Kia ora and good evening. Um, my name is Murray Paul. I'm the head of mathematics at Burnside High School. I just like to take a couple of minutes to talk about um, Year 12 Maths at Burnside and the transition from Year 11 to Year 12 Maths. Well, the first thing to say is that up to Year 11, Maths is compulsory. Um, in Year 12, it isn't. However, about 85% of our Year 12 students at Burnside do take one of our three mathematics courses. So you will all just pick 12 Maths on your subject selection form in the next week or two, and you'll be placed in um, one of the courses you can see, hopefully, on the, um, the document that's taking up most of your screen. So the three courses we have, um, the middle course is 12MAT. Now this is the Algebra and Calculus course. It's a bit like 11MAT. It's got three externals, Algebra, Calculus, and Probability, and three internals. Um, it's a full course, and in most schools, that's the top course, if you like, in the school. However, we're fortunate at Burnside to have a number of more able students. So for them, we run, we run 12MAX, which is the Cambridge A-level course, AS-level course, along with NCEA. So those of you who have come through Cambridge in year 11, if you get 80% in your end of your exam this year, you'll be offered the chance to go into 12MAX. Typically, we have about 85 students, three classes of 12 MAX, that's what we've got this year. Um, the third course is 12 MAS, the stats-based course at the bottom, and that has one external, the probability stats external, and then five internals. Now, if you look at the arrows that go from year 11 through to year 12, um, you've got, depending which course you're in year 11, you've got access to one, two, or three of those courses. Uh, those are in 11 MAX, you get to choose which one you go to. MAT can go to 12 MAT or 12 MAS. Most of 11 MAH, if they choose maths, will, choose, will end up in 12 MAS, but a bit of extra work you can end up in 12 MAT. Now you're probably aware that maths in year 13 splits into calculus and stats, which are two separate subjects. You can do one or both. If you look on the far right hand side, there's a list of university subjects that calculus is needed for, required for, and underneath that, a list of university subjects that STATS is required for. Very briefly, the engineering, architecture, physical sciences, computing require calculus, and the um, biological sciences, psychology, social sciences require STATS. Health science is a little bit different. Um, they want you to do a year 13 maths, they don't care which one. We recommend calculus because if you decide not to go down the health science route, then calculus leaves a lot more options open down the way. So hopefully you, you, uh, you've got a feeling about what you want to do next year. So what will happen, as I said, is that you'll get some, your results this year. If you get four, if you're an 11 MAT and you get four or more merit or excellent grades, you'll be given the chance to go into 12 MAT. And to get to it at 12 MAS, you've got to pass the probability um, external and chance and data, and you've got to um, get, a, get 16 credits in total in your year. So you'll be placed in a class. If you come back at the start of next year and you find you're in a course you don't want to be in, you can go and see your dean or come and see the math department in D1, and we'll have a look at your results and a bit of a chat with you. Some students who do quite well, and 11 MAT know that they're going down the social science route, so they want to do stats, for example. So hopefully that makes things a little bit clearer. Have a good look at the spreadsheet. Have a look at the subjects on the right. Ask your math teacher, and um, come and send me your D1 and D1, or Mrs. Pooch and D1, if you've got any questions. So good luck with your subject selection, and good luck with the rest of the year. Thank you.